welcome to my very, very first Wantable unboxing. And I will tell you that I did not receive this for promotional purposes. I paid for this outright, and the reason why I paid for this outright was because they got me on involving my girl Melissa Raymond in the... Uh, the creation of this box. Uh, she curated the box. She she helped put it together, I guess. I didn't ask her personally what the deal was with it, but uh, her name is included in this. Uh, it was used, to, She used, they used her name to promote it. She has excellent taste in makeup. I love her dupes videos where you can find uh, dupes for high-end brands. She's really good at showing those. Uh, talented at putting on makeup, um, and I just love her personality. She's hilarious. So if you don't know Melissa's videos, I will put a link down below and I, I definitely recommend uh, checking those out. As always though, I will be honest about what I find inside. One thing they do have you do at Wantable is they have you go through in your style profile and pick out products like say which products you like, which products you love, which product types that you don't want in your box. And the first thing I find inside is this text and it says a beautiful new thing. And then... No, no, no. And it says packed especially for and then it has my full name. There's a little sticker there which I think is really cute. Right there it says be your own kind of beautiful and that's how it looks on the inside. It says your June makeup box featuring Melissa Raymond, but that is not a picture of Melissa Raymond. So the first thing I see is a little makeup bag and it looks like it's got a pocket here and a silica gel and there you go. This would be a nice little clutch to carry out, which I like. Uh, I have a ridiculous amount of makeup bags, so I will probably use this as a little clutch for going out. I think it is appropriate for that. It is a little cheap looking. Uh, I wouldn't wear this to anything formal or carry this to anything formal, but for just a regular night out, jeans and a t-shirt, this is something I would definitely use. And then this is what is underneath. Ah! The first thing, it looks like I've got a few products from Mirabella. This one is a Pick 2 color palette. This is cute. So it's like a little palette for eyeshadow. It's got a little magnet there. And then they gave us two eyeshadows. So this one is in Cultured. And this one is in Serenity. I'm going to pop these babies out and swatch them. Okay, so what I've done is I've removed the eyeshadows from the packaging and... I put them in the little case here. So this one is a purple and then a champagne color. Uh, they look pretty matte. Let's swatch them and see. Not super creamy, but not powdery either. So those are the finger swatches. Hand swatches. Um, to play with them and see. Let me see if I can build them up a bit. Okay, so here's a second swatch of purple. There we go. Second swatch of the cream, the champagne. There we go. Very nice. So that's actually really nice. I kind of prefer a buildable color rather than one that just goes on super pigmented because if it goes on super pigmented, sometimes it's really difficult to blend um, and you might not get the right amount of product on there. Sometimes it's just really nice to have a light color at first and then be able to build it up. So it looks like these shadows are like that. I'm blending with my finger right now and it is not blending out, uh, meaning that it's not going away as I blend with my hand. So that makes me very, very happy. I'm excited to try these on my eyeball. And then next we got the NCLA Los Angeles Nail Lacquer. Okay, this is an interesting color. It's called the Spa Comes to Me, and it's like a muddy green, like a spa mask green. Let me do a little drip test and see... Looks like a one to two coat polish. It looks really nice, actually. Is NCLA Drugstore? I don't know. I know NYC is Drugstore. I don't think NCLA is Drugstore. Now thinking about it. Enjoy a little California love on your fingertips. Cool, this actually looks like a really nice nail polish. I'm excited to try that. Cool, okay, and then the last thing I got I'm excited about is Vincent Longo. I don't know any products by Vincent Longo. Do you all own products by Vincent Longo? Is it good? I don't know anything about it. And that is that, and it's in Golden Sienna, and it's a pressed powder, and that's what it looks like inside. Cheap little powder puff in here. It doesn't look impressive to me. Whenever I find one of these in there, I'm like, oh, mmm. I don't know about that. Okay, and then there it is. Looks like a nice skin tone match. When it said golden sienna, I was expecting a golden, like, bronzer. But this looks like just like a pressed powder. Look, it feels very creamy. There's that. Yep. Just like a regular pressed powder. Okay, so creamy was probably not the word I was looking for. More like soft. It's like super soft. It's very silky feeling. 
Does it say anything about it? No? Oh no. Let's see if it says anything here. One of the softest, lightest weight powders available in compact form. By triple milling the powder and using real silk fibers, the powder becomes ultra fine and smooth to the touch. Large mirror compact is great for touching up your makeup on the go, blends completely into foundation and concealer, leaving no residue for a totally invisible finish. Observe surface oil, sets foundation and concealer to maintain a smooth matte canvas throughout the day. Eye and cheek color glide on over the pressed powder color will not streak. Okay, so the retail value on this is $28. Retail value on the makeup bag was $16. I would never pay $16 for this. This is like maybe 10 bucks. And then the nail polish is $16. And then the Mirabella, Mirabella. Mirabella Duo Color and Cultured in Serenity are $30. I don't know if that includes, I would hope that that would include this because there's no way that would pay $15 a piece for an eyeshadow. I don't know. I guess that's like what MAC shadows are, right? I do think that this whole thing together is probably worth $30. I mean, it's a really nice little compact, um, and it looks like it will fit other shadows in there. I don't own any MAC shadows to put in there, unfortunately, but get out my Z palette, because I know the, the Makeup Geek shadows are the same size as the MAC shadows, so I'm curious to see. Let me put a Makeup Geek shadow in. This is Shimmermint, and it does fit, so these will fit MAC shadows push the edge lightly with my fingernail and it popped right out. Cool, so it'll be nice to be able to customize this little one for travel or on the go. All right, so that's the Wannable unboxing. Uh, that was like 40 bucks. I don't know, about $40. When I think about $40 subscription, I think about New Beauty Test Tube and how many products come in there. And I just don't feel like this one is as rich of a subscription as New Beauty Test Tube and you don't get as many products to try. But I, you know, them being full size, I guess that makes kind of the big difference. So we got two, three things here, four things here, here, five things here, six things here. So 40 bucks. Mm, what do you guys think? I'd love to know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching, by the way. I appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It makes me look super cool. And also make sure you subscribe if you've never seen one of my videos before. Hi, it's nice to meet you. And I hope you stick around. Mad love, my friends. And I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye!